Una delle sfide maggiori da affrontare per i pazienti che presentano rischio cardiovascolare, soprattutto di grado medio o elevato è il problema dell'aderenza alla terapia. Queste persone che spesso sono di età avanzata devono assumere tanti farmaci anche magari per altre patologie e di conseguenza la gestione di queste terapie è sempre abbastanza difficoltosa e non di rado l'aderenza nel corso del tempo scende anche abbastanza rapidamente. Uno degli studi che ha destato maggiore interesse qui a Barcellona al congresso annuale dell'ESC prevedeva appunto l'utilizzo di una polipillola che conteneva aspirina, atorvastatina e eh, ramipril. Questo studio ha dato dei risultati molto importanti, molto interessanti, noi ce lo siamo fatti spiegare dal suo primo autore, dal professor Valentin Fuster. Professor Fuster, which is the rationale uh, beside the study, beside the, the, the use of the polypill? Well, the rationale is that one of the main problems today in cardiovascular medicine and medicine in general is the adherence to medications. And the question is how can we improve adherence? There are many mechanisms and possibilities, but we thought that something simple, like a single pill, perhaps would be one of the answers. The problem with the pill, polypill, is very difficult to develop because the drugs, when they are together, interact with each other and you lose the, perhaps the pharmacological or biological activity in somehow. So it took us uh, three or four years to develop the polypill. And which polypill have you used in, in how many patients and which was the, the disease? We have done two studies. The first one is the FOCUS study uh, with five different countries where we took aspirin, simvastatin and ramipril in 200, uh, per, in 2000 patients with myocardial infarction. And we found that such polypill improves significantly the adherence compared with the usual treatment. And this led to the study that I presented today here today, which is a prospective study to see whether the adherence has anything to do with a decrease in cardiovascular events. And this is what the study has proven. The study has shown a, a, gr a great difference between the two arms, the, the usual therapy with the different drugs, uh, uh, taking alone and the polypill. Uh, how do you explain uh, this, uh, this uh, success? First of all, both curves separate from the beginning and then they continue to separate. So even if the study was carried out longer, maybe the results would be even more striking. Most of the explanation is through adherence. We measure adherence and certainly was significantly better in the group with the polypill than in the group that was treated conventionally. Maybe other factors playing a role, which we do not know. The question is what happens when you take a medication like this more often than not? What is the biology? Well, we cannot say about aspirin because it's an antithrombotic we cannot measure. We cannot say about ramipril because it stabilizes the blood vessel, but we cannot really talk about specific biological parameters. What is interesting in the study, LDL was no different between the polypill and the separate pills. And maybe the word that the statins work following myocardial infarction is a pleiotropic effect, antithrombotic, anti-inflammatory, we don't know. However, we can say that the people who took atorvastatin on the freeway, they took a higher dose than those that we use in the polypill. This is something interesting to yes, take into account. I think so. People opposing to polypill, they say it's better a personalized uh, therapy, so to choose for each patient uh, the specific drug, the specific dosage. My friend, it's easy to talk in this way. I think both avenues are important, and today there is a schizophrenia in medicine. On one hand, I think we have to do things simple to have an effect overpopulation. On the other hand, I think we need to pursue research to personalize medicine, particularly in the field of genetics, imaging, and so forth. So I think both pathways are important, but if you ask me which one to choose, I am interested in global health. So to me, simplicity is most important.